Hello everyone, this is me Arijay back with a new video and it's again a video on Raspberry Pi. So as we all know with Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi has officially launched an active cooler for Raspberry Pi. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly install the active cooler in your Raspberry Pi. And then I'm going to do a stress test and I'm going to show you how much temperature difference you are going to get with this active cooler and without this active cooler. So we'll know if using this active cooler is really worth it or not. So now without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so here we are having the Raspberry Pi active cooler and it's clearly written that it's for Raspberry Pi 5. So you cannot use it for Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3. The next thing is if you go in the back side of it, there are main features. It's written as single piece anodized aluminum heatsink, heatsink mounted temperature control fan, spring loaded push pins for mounting onto Raspberry Pi 5, pre-applied thermal pads for heat transfer. Okay, and also it's written that a Raspberry Pi active cooler is a dedicated clip-on cooling solution for Raspberry Pi 5. Okay. So now I'll just open it. So here we are having the active cooler, as you can see, and in the and the as you can see here we have some kind of pad here. We have to open the pad and put it in the Raspberry Pi. And also here we have the like fan socket. This thing we need to put in Raspberry Pi. So here I'm having my Raspberry Pi 5, as you can see. So now to put it in Raspberry Pi 5, it's very simple. Uh, you have to match the pads accordingly. So for example, in this way, you have to place it. Okay. And then in this side here, we are having the pad. So now I will fit it. So now to fit it properly, uh, the first thing is obviously we need to remove the pad in this way. And here we are having the thermal paste already applied. So we don't need to do a lot of things. One thing we need to make sure that this uh, spring loaded screws as you can see here uh, this should put here as you can see here there are two screw like this kind of two holes we have to fit those these two things here okay so i'll just put it properly so as you can see here i have attached it properly and here you can find the spring loaded push pins these two pins here and this is how it looks like. Now I have this uh, pin here, the basically the fan socket here. I need to put it here in this socket. So I'll just take this one and I'll put it here. Now we can simply give it power. Now for that, we simply have to connect the USB-C cable. Now if you can see it, the f as you can see, the fan is running. So it's working just fine. Okay, now to do the stress test, first we have to get into a Raspberry Pi. So here I'm inside my Raspberry Pi and here I'm going to install something called as stress. So sudo apt get install stress. Using this library, we can do stress testing. Once the installation is done, I'm going to open another terminal and here I'm going to write uh, watch. So you'll see here, so watch n dash n1 and then vc gen cmd measure under dash temp okay and if i use this command every second is going to show me the temperature okay temperature of the processor now here to start the stress test i'll write stress dash dash cpu 4 so use four cores in the uh, stress testing now as you can see once we start the stress testing the temperature will start increasing so as you can see here now here i have tested the raspberry pi without the cpu cooler for 15 minutes okay and uh, after 15 minutes as you can see the results are something like this so it's around 75 degrees okay and now uh, the similar test i'm going to do with the cooler so here i now here i have tested it tested raspberry pi with cooler for 15 minutes and here i'm getting the temperature as around 65 degrees so in short after 15 minutes of stress test like without the cooler we are getting a temperature around 75 degrees celsius and with the cooler we are getting around 65 degrees celsius so overall there is a 10 degree celsius of like temperature difference in 15 minutes only so which is actually a lot 10 degrees difference is actually a lot 
because if you think uh, if your overall uh, temperature is less than 70 then that's actually very good for your processor your processor is going to give you optimal performance but if the temperature is more than 80 then your processor will start doing, uh, start doing like thermal throttling so overall performance uh, like will be degraded so definitely not that's not a good thing so definitely with this active cooler our temperature is like less like in 15 minutes also it's pretty less so we can say that it's working actually it's working and i believe at this price point uh, this active cooler the official active cooler is really worth uh, definitely if you are doing some more stressful things in your pie you need some other solutions uh, but i think at least for like basic things or even some more stressful th things like image processing and stuff uh, this active cooler will be uh, good enough so definitely you can use it with your raspberry pi 5 uh, so that's all about this video guys i hope you have learned something from this video in that case please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because more this kind of videos we are going to make in future and that's it all about this video i'll see you in the very next video